What if I told you the best way to have a better picture was not to buy a better camera? It's to buy a better light. Lighting by far is the biggest factor in having a good quality video in your next Zoom and or Teams meeting. So let's take a few minutes and cover just simple lighting techniques. Lighting doesn't have to be complicated. You can literally stand in front of a window with your laptop and have good quality lighting for your webcam. You can even use your monitor as lighting. For example, open up Google. It's all white. It's going to cast a pretty decent amount of light on you. You can use that. It's super cheap. I'm literally using Google right now for my lighting. So if you don't have, if you don't want to use Google or use your window, the first thing you're going to do is just jump on Amazon and just buy a really cheap diffused LED lighting. And the key word here is diffused. You don't want this harsh light on you. Get it diffused. Here's one for 26 bucks. For example, I use the newer Pancake Around Light for my main key light. Uh, it's around 200 bucks, but it's well worth the money. Plus, I even have a remote control for it where I can control the lighting in the Kelvin, but I can also hook this up to my stream deck and turn it on automatically. You don't need this level of light, but it's really, really good, and you get what you pay for. So the main light is what they call the key light. This is your main light source that you're going to have, obviously, light your face. I like to have my key light at a 45-degree angle and pretty high, so it takes off some of the glare from my glasses. When you're placing it at a 45-degree angle, it also adds some shadows across your face, so adds some drama and depth to your picture. But please feel free to play with it in front of you or at a 45-degree angle, whatever works best for you. So for the majority of your calls, just a really good key light will solve a lot of problems. If you want to up your game to the next level, get a fill light. They're super cool. A fill light takes some of the shadows that the key light causes and kind of fills those in. I'll turn mine on right now. So now some of those shadows that the key light created from the 45 degree angle, I can just take away with the fill light. And again, for my fill light, I use a really good diffuse light. This one's the Elgato key light. I don't use it as a key light. I use it as my fill light. If you want to up your game even more, get an edge light. An edge light goes exactly opposite of your key light at a 45 degree angle. So here's my key light on this side. My edge light is actually on the 45 degree angle behind me. It adds this nice little depth to the side of my face. So some contrast, it gives your face a more cinematic feel, adds some depth and character to your overall video. This is professional level. It's not for everyone, but I use it. Again, just get a super cheap diffuse light. I think I paid $26 for that thing over there. So to go full YouTube, you can also get what they call motivational lighting. That's what you see behind me, those RPG lights. You can see them on the edge of my shelf. And even you see this white glow behind me. It's because I have a light literally right next to me shining on the wall. I even have some RGB lights up here in the corner shelves. I could change the color of these to match the mood or template of what I'm looking for. So again, the number one thing to make your video look better, great lighting. Hope this helped. Now, if you like these videos, please follow me on LinkedIn or better yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd.